Hello everyone, I'm Larry. I'm a professor of accounting and in this brief video I'd like to help you understand the difference between financial accounting and managerial accounting. Any managerial accounting textbook will likely explain this topic with discussion and examples very similar to what I'm about to show you, but I hope that by watching and listening here it will help my students or anyone else who wants to view this video. I'm guessing that if you're watching this video, you have probably already taken a course in financial accounting and are about to take a course in managerial accounting. Maybe you're at the beginning of your managerial accounting course. And what I'd like to do is take you back and remind you what financial accounting is about, and then we'll talk about how the world of managerial accounting is different from financial accounting. So first, let's focus for a moment on financial accounting. In financial accounting, if you recall back to the course that you took on this topic, you may remember a lot of debits and credits. You were doing a lot of debiting and crediting. And what was the purpose of debiting and crediting? Well, if you look at any business, there are transactions happening on any given day, and debits and credits record those transactions. Also, debits and credits are used to make adjustments at the end of the accounting period. If you've properly done your debits and credits, then you'll end up with correct balances in your accounts. And you might remember different types of accounts included cash, accounts receivable, accounts payable, land, buildings, notes receivable, notes payable, common stock, retained earnings. So if you did your debits and credits properly and followed the rules, then the balances in the accounts were correct. And if the balances in the accounts were correct, then you'd be able to produce standard financial statements that would be correct. And do you remember the different types of financial statements that were talked about back in financial accounting? You may recall there was the balance sheet which showed assets, liabilities, and equity, showed all of those different accounts. The income statement showed you revenues and expenses, along with a few other accounts that are appropriate to figuring out net income. There was also the cash flow statement, and you may even recall a retained earnings statement or a statement of stockholders' equity. These, from financial accounting, you may recall, were the standard financial statements. And if you did your debits and credits properly, and you then had correct balances in all of your different accounts, you could produce a balance sheet, an income statement, and a cash flow statement, along with a retained earnings statement, that were correct and had the proper values inserted in them. Those were the standard financial statements that were the bottom line of financial accounting, the reason for financial accounting. And why did we need those standard financial statements to be correct? because they'd be used by external users. Now, internal users also look at the financial statements, internal users being the managers within a company, but external users, people such as investors or potential investors, creditors or potential creditors of a company, all want to assess the health of a company and see how it's doing. And they need to look at the standardized financial statements the balance sheet, the income statement, the cash flow statement, to see how well the company is doing. So again, these are standardized statements for the purpose of being easily followed by external users. These standard financial statements use past data, that is data from the recent past, and they follow rules. Now in the United States, the rules, you may recall, are called U.S. GAAP. That's generally accepted accounting principles. Other countries use different rules. You may recall from your financial accounting coursework that there's IFRS, International Financial Reporting Standards. The point is there's a set of rules that need to be followed so that we can properly produce standard financial statements that will be used by external users. And these statements are audited. External auditors, independent auditors, look at the financial statements and look at the processes, the procedures within a company to see that everything follows, that the rules have been followed and that everything has been reported accurately. That was the basis for financial accounting. Now, moving into the world of managerial accounting, things are a bit different. In managerial accounting, 
we're not specifically concerned with those standard financial statements. Now, we are interested in what lies in the standard financial statements, and debits and credits do matter, but you're not going to see so much in managerial accounting involving debits and credits and the standard financials that you saw back in financial accounting. In managerial accounting, we produce specialized data products. That is, we do specific analyses that help us answer certain questions. For example, maybe a company is trying to make a decision, should we lease a new facility or should we buy the facility? Well, there are different cost factors involved in leasing a facility versus buying a facility, and we can put together a spreadsheet, some type of a specialized data product to analyze that decision, and that helps our managers, internal users, that's the managers of the company, to make a smart business decision. So again, managerial accounting is not so much about the standard financial statements that you saw in financial accounting, it's about doing specialized analyses and putting together specialized data products that will be used by internal users. These are likely the managers within a company to make smart business decisions as we look forward into the future. These data products need to just get the job done and help us make a smart business decision. So they do not need to follow GAAP and they are not audited. These are for internal purposes. And again, what are examples of analyses and data products? The lease versus buy decision, or maybe there's a decision that a company is making. Should we manufacture a certain part, or should we outsource this part to some other company that can maybe do a better job and do it more cheaply than we do? Once again, we're dealing with decisions that are all about smart business. Smart business decisions made by internal users, that's the managers of the company, so we will put together very specialized data products and analyses to help us answer those questions for the managers internally. And these data products do not need to follow GAAP and they are not audited. It's possible that these analyses might include more detailed information than you would see in the standard financial statements that are reported under financial accounting. And you'll see examples of that when you take the managerial accounting course. And we may also include non-financial information when we do an analysis. What might be non-financial information? Well, we might make a decision where not only are we considering dollar values, but maybe we're thinking about the quality of life for our employees, the safety of our employees, or maybe we want to do some nice things for the local community. People would say that over the long run, when you take care of your employees and you have a good re business reputation within the community, that certainly helps your bottom line in the future. But there may be things that we do in the short term that are not about money and that we will still consider as part of our decision. And that will become more clear when you take a course in managerial accounting. So again, two different worlds of accounting, financial accounting, managerial accounting. Financial accounting involves standard financial estate statements. What were those financial statements? The balance sheet, the income statement, the cash flow statement, and you may also recall using either a retained earnings statement or a statement of stockholders equity in your financial accounting course. These standard financial statements are prepared in a very standardized way so that they can be understood by external users, people outside of the company, such as creditors or investors. The standard financial statements must follow the rules of whatever country we're in, and they will be audited. They will be checked on by external auditors. Managerial accounting, on the other hand, is not about the standard financial statements. It's about producing specialized analyses and data products that will be used by internal users, managers within a company, to make smart business decisions. Looking forward, and we do not need to follow GAAP and do not need to audit these data products and analyses that we produce within managerial accounting. I hope that helps your understanding, and good luck with your studying.